Holy hell, how long have you been cataloging these? Since I caught a sigil on the swing set in the background of the Let's Play Pirates episode. If I'd have blinked, I'd have missed it. But here's the thing, there wasn't a single reference until the acquisition. This is the complete log of all the references I can make out, and most of them are subtle, but they're there, and lots of them. And usually paired with a message encouraging kids to uh, ignore their parents or, or do something harmful. Uh, again, it's subtle. It's not something that's overtly dangerous, not in the context, and it's always under the guise of a new adventure. And you know this kid was also watching the show at the time of his disappearance. Mm, totally engrossed, his parents said, and then just gone. No police evidence? Not even footprints, trail and all? No, nothing. Like, he just vanished. That was over eight months ago. And now this other kid, Lauren, same story. So what's next? That's what we need to figure out. I mean, obviously, we can't say anything. It's a kid's show, for Christ's sake. We'd sound insane. But it's not. These are, these are not good lessons. Every episode has some very harmful instructions and there's a thread of content that runs across all of it. References to Belial, to Mara, to Iblis. Every world religion has a figure that tempts and manipulates and deceives. According to Kate's log, in the last 20 weeks of this kids show, there have been over 40 mentions of these entities. It's alarming. I want to bring Peter into this, if you two are comfortable. This is really his area of expertise. OK, let's get him to review the episodes that you've already recorded. I will cut the meeting recording. How old is she here? About five? I can't even imagine. They provided two original tapes of the show, and they say there are more. Over the next few nights, I'm going to start combing those for more coded language. The puzzles, the anagrams, they seem to connect it to the cult. And based on what we have, I'm convinced that this is the latest iteration of the one Caroline's family's been tracking for generations. The information we already have about the group ties it back to a religion that hasn't been practiced publicly in damn years. So we're saying that this production company has been around since the Middle Ages? Is that what we're saying? Either that or they were. So why her specifically and why here? I wish we could get our hands on that contract. I think it would be. We don't even have any conclusive evidence that would suggest that she's still alive. But she's in there, Peter. I know she is. Whatever information Kate is getting is fragmented at best. And that's if it is actually Rebecca. It has to be. So I... no, Caroline. We don't know. We have to hit the pause button on this. We can't do anything that would give away what we're doing. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Are you in charge here? So what's the plan then, Peter? We just keep meeting and talking? What's our goal exactly? Look, I want to try to, Caroline, but we have to proceed with caution. We don't even know what state she's in. Or if we could even get to her. It's been almost 15 years. She might not even want out at this point. You don't know that. You don't either. Bottom line is, it's not safe. I mean, are we going to talk about David, or are we just going to pretend I'm he's not waiting around? If they're coming for me, they're coming for me. She's made contact with Kate. But we don't even know that it's her. It is, but she's too volatile. That's the tricky part. We don't know where she's coming from. Kate, we've been working on this for 14 years. Please. This is a terrible idea. We should be lying low, not diving in. Right, you know what? This meeting's over. We're going to take a break, and we're all just going to come back when we can.
You know you just can't keep me in here. I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but people are going to be looking- Okay, I'm all set. We can go ahead with your statement now. Rebecca, honey, I am so proud of you. And, and I know that our, our friends are taking care of you while I'm away. You can, tr I'm not gonna tell her she can trust you. You've got me locked up in here and you want me to act like everything is okay? This is kidnapping, it's, it's, it's coercion. Just it's, say what's on the paper is okay. This is kidnapping, it's coercion. It's well, if you wish. One of my associates will gladly provide you with a copy of your signed contract. You agreed to this. I did not agree to lie to my daughter. Operation South Corridor, go ahead. This is gonna take some time. Mr. Colton isn't exactly cooperative today. But I got something. I'll bring over the tape for editing. And you've recorded all proceedings? Still running. Can you send someone down to the lockup protocol? Copy that. What's your authorization number? <clears throat> Five, four, three, Alpha Tango, Alpha six, seven. Security escort will arrive in 90 seconds. You have clearance to stop recording. All right, Mr. Colton. If this is how you're going to behave. We'll do what we can with what you gave us. Alice sat with her eyes closed imagining she was still in Wonderland. But she knew that if she opened her eyes, everything would go back to normal. The instrument she heard would become grass, lowing in the wind. Rings of smoke from the caterpillar would become the ripples on the pond. The noise of teacups would turn into the sound of bells on sheep and the queen's loud voice would become a boy calling for the sheep. All the strange sounds she heard would just be animals in the meadow. Wow, what a fun story. Did you all like that story? Let's thank Mr. Sam Colton for joining us this morning for a very special story time. Hey, you all may know a friend of Mr. Colton's. You can watch her on her very own hometown hit show on Kensdale's Public Access Channel. Do you know what show that is? That's right, my friends. Now, parents, on your way out today, please consider donating to the library's renovation fund so we can have even more great programming like we did today. Right, a major goal of the renovation is to create a special place for your little ones to read and dream. In the very own Kids Corner, with a state-of-the-art activity center and expanded selection for early readers. Now, remember, we can't do it without your support. That new Kids Corner will open up a whole new world where your kids will be able to feed their imagination and fuel their own adventures. That's I right. can't wait to see such a special place come to life. Yeah. Thank you again, Mr. Colton. And I look forward to seeing every one of you back here Thursday for a special production of The Very Silly Groundhog by our friends at Blue Fairy Puppet Theater. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> hey, thanks for, thanks for filming again bye. for the archive. <laughs> Turn off the camera. No, I'm, I'm about to. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Make Good a film. <laughs>
didn't expect to see you at story time. Okay. Well, I'm a sucker for that Cheshire cat. Perfect, yeah, <laughs> give me what you got. Um, you know, I have to say, I just love seeing that connection you've made with the kids here. It's I love it. something else. You're my favorite jumper. Do you have a minute? Look at that. <laughs>